Hello, this is Natalie from NK Design. I've had some questions lately about Inktense blocks and I thought I'd show you a little project of what you can use them for. First I apply gesso to my pages. Usually I apply it quite thinly, but this time I'm using a big dry brush to apply it all over the page. I brush the gesso here and there, crisscrossing all over. Um, because I want to create texture, which works great with the ink tents, and I show you that in a minute. Here they are. Derwent Ink Tense blocks. They come in sets of 12, 24, 36 and 72. And they're basically ink compressed in block form. It's easy to cover large areas with them. You can use them dry or add water to create intense, brilliant color washes. And once dry, they are permanent. I've chosen three colors for the background and I scribble all over the page. Then use a large wet brush to activate the ink. how brilliant these colors become once you activate the ink with water. Now let me show you up close. Look at this gorgeous texture. The gesso acts as a resist so you have got lighter and darker areas and the wash just looks fantastic. I still want more texture so I'm using white tissue paper, rip it in little pieces, crumple them up and use Liquitex matte medium to glue them randomly on the page. And I do not worry if they crinkle up, um, I just like to add more texture and it looks fantastic in my opinion. Greylet pencil I roughly sketch in uh, a tree, um, just some branches um, and then use the brown ink tense block to color it in and use uh, a wet brush to activate the ink.
I show you how you can also use the Inktense blocks just as watercolors. I'm using a, a water brush and I activate the ink directly on the block. I pick the color up and I start coloring in um, the tree here and there to give it some more definition and depth. my pilot perma ball I add some journaling all along the tree and I basically scribble it it's not readable um, which is good in some ways if you don't want anybody to be able to read it but basically I'm talking about how sick I am of winter here in Australia and how I am looking forward to spring using a white and a magenta intense block as watercolor. Um, the white is almost opaque so you can add it on top of other layers. Yes, why not also use them as paint? Simply grate a little bit of the blocks and mix it with gesso and you have a beautiful acrylic paint. I want to add some more flowers to the tree, but this time I want to give them a little bit more of a 3D look. So I use the paint and use Q-tips to stipple them onto the page. Once that layer is dry, I make again some more paint, but this time in a darker value. I also add some water to the mixture to activate the ink just a little bit more. And I add some blossoms in the dark color. And once that layer is dry, I add some more flowers, but this time just with white gesso. With a really wet brush I activate the ink on the magenta block and create some splatters. Time to add some words. I use my Graylet pencil to roughly sketch out Hello Spring and then I use my Pilot Perma Ball to trace the lines and some lines I just make a little bit thicker. Then I use my ink and my date stamp to add the date and I'm finished.
overall this spread took me about 50 minutes. I hope this video gave you some insight as how to use intense blocks or pencils if you have those. You can do the same thing with the pencils. It's just a little bit harder to cover larger areas and create paints with them. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any further videos. I hope I see you next time. Until then, happy arting!